Victoria is in Hawaii. Hi, Victoria. Welcome to the Dave Ramsey Show. Hello. Thank you for taking my call. Sure. What's up? Um, so my husband and I are in a uh, solar con- a solar lease contract, and we're having some issues because we're trying to sell our house. Um, we've had seven uh, offers back out. We've come out of escrow twice for our house because of the solar contract. Um, we were told before we signed the contract that if we were to sell our house, then the, the new buyers would be able to renegotiate their contract. Um, and if they didn't want to, then the company would remove the panel. Um, or we could take the panels with us to wherever we were moving next. Um, or we could buy the panels out. Those were our three options. Um, while we are both active duty military and we'll be moving to um, Texas in July. Um, okay, so they told you all of those things. Is any of that not in the actual contract? No, it's not. Okay, so it didn't happen the only- then. What does the contract actually say? Is you just owe them a set amount um, of money, right? Yeah, so the, the options for the contract were a ballooning payment over the next 20 years or a set payment, which would have set off a little bit higher but not changed uh, for that amount There's of There's not a payoff amount um, just to pay them off? So the their early buyout option isn't an option until six years into your contract. Um, but the option that they're giving us right now to buy it out is, $78,000. The system itself, if you were to get buy one outright brand new, is only $25,000. So you did a so lease? Did worth. you say you did a lease on yes. this? Yes, we did. Oh, jeez. Okay. What yeah. a mess. Um, so the option that they're giving us to buy out right now is what the contract is worth to the investors, which is about $78,000. Okay. So can, can you not pay it off as a part of the sale of the house? No, we cannot because that, that, that's $78,000. Um, and we won't be making that much money on the house. How much will you be making on the there. house? Um, we're looking at about $40,000. Profit. Yeah. With the solar panels on the house. If we can get somebody to take the current contract. No, 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 no. I'm just saying, if you leave the solar panels on the house, the house is only worth enough to put $40,000 in your pocket. That is correct. And that's with paying the solar company nothing. Correct. Okay. Oh, um, you need a lawyer. Yeah. You need a lawyer, and you need to, you're probably going to give your $40,000 of equity to the solar company to settle the contract and leave the solar panels on the house and walk away. You lost your equity when you okay. did this deal. Okay. Yeah, if you can get them to take 40000 to settle on the seventy eight today, uh, my God, you must have covered the whole house in solar panels. We did. The, the electricity out here in Hawaii is pretty expensive. Uh, we were paying... Six hundred dollars a month in electricity, um, with yeah, it's still um, a really, really AC. bad idea to do this. I mean, yeah. the only time solar panels work is if you pay cash for them, uh, and they do work if you pay cash for them. But never, ever finance them, and triple never lease them because of this exact situation right here. Yeah, and never believe anything is is a part of the deal if it's not it in right. the contract. Yeah. We got an old attorney friend of mine that says if it's not in the contract, if it's not in writing, it didn't happen. Yeah. And that's what you're discovering here that you had a slime ball at your kitchen table telling you it was, the deal was one thing when it wasn't, it was something else. And we know he's a slime ball because he lied. Yeah. That, that's the point. Yeah. You had a very clear, you know, belief of this. I mean, if you have any of the old sales materials that indicate that the contract should say that. Your attorney could use that as a part of the negotiating process and go, we're going to sue you guys because you're just a bunch of slimy people. My God, $78,000 worth of solar panels? Mm. You wouldn't break even on that? Oh, that's awful. That's really awful. Hey, we, we believe in solar around here. There's certain areas of the country that it breaks even, but if you need to break even on those things in you know, four to five years. You don't need a 15-year break-even on solar panels. It doesn't, you, don't buy, you don't buy anything that does that, meaning you save enough on electricity to pay to give you the cash that you paid for the solar panel back. 
within five years. And if you don't do that, you don't need to do the deal. They're not efficient enough in the area that you're in with your particular situation, with the cost of electricity in your situation to do that. And then you don't get caught up in what Victoria's in. Victoria, get you a lawyer. 